Hi everybody, today I would like to show you, introduce you to some of the new materials I come out with it so that you can get familiar with it. Um, the first one actually is the EP5 SE. Uh, SE stands for scale effect. What does that mean? As you can see it, I put some crank into the fibers himself that it will give it a scale effect. But more than anything else, this materials, what it will do for you is create the silhouette of any bay fish imitation using less fiber than what usually we do with the regular EP fibers. Don't get me wrong, this is the EP fibers and the colors are blended and they are cranked into it. So my suggestion is if you like to uh, give him a, uh, a try, I know you're going to be happy with it and the reason I did that again is to create a, a bulky flies like it but using half of the amount of the materials. The next materials I would like to point to you is the crustration brush. Uh, this year I did uh, several colors for those of you who like to tie those flies that catch a lot of fish, which is the toad. So I got the uh, toad colors, you know, the combination of red and black, uh, black and purple, uh, chartreuse and white, and so forth and so on. The color I listed them on my web. And uh, probably many of you um, think, okay, how am I going to use this? Well, I have here is one brush a construction brush I mean the words speak for himself that to represent a construction like a crab uh, type of situation and let me show you how this will work it's very simple it's not complicated at all uh, let me grab it a, um, a hook Simply tie in with your thread. Again, I like to use a chartreuse thread. And what you'll do is just wrap around, fold the fibers back. And the beauty about this brushes is that you can bulk the fly as much you like to. When it comes to crabs, I like to be able to have the fly landing on the water as soft as possible so I'm, the wrapping I'm doing are very tight. So even if I have the lead eyes on it, it will land into the water softly and it will not make that kind of noise you know, the splash that might scare those bone fish or permit. So, as you can see, you just wrap around there you go. And of course, you will, you know, tie, you know, as much you like to, according to the size you want to create it. There you go. Don't use your scissors to do what I do. Remember, the core is a stainless steel wire. Okay. Get yourself like a nail clip or a little ply. There you go. Then you just finish it. Just like that. And now I'll show you trimming the fly, what kind of effect this it will have. It. Okay. So simply 
grab the hook. I mean, it looks like a ball of fur over here, but now, you know, get the scissor and give it a first cut on the top. Just like that. And then we'll do the other cut on the bottom. Just like this. And there you are. I mean, you can see it how easy it is to create it any crab. I mean this is just to demonstrate to you you know the color combination. This is the three tone and you will have all the segmentation over here to represent the a crab body. And there you are. Using the crustacea brush you can do nice little uh, crabs of any kind because many colors are available. You can check that on, on my web to see what the colors available are. Okay, uh, the other uh, materials I would like to introduce to you this year is the EP Ultra Brush right here, which are this guy over here, and is a about five inch long fibers. And what can you do with these brushes? It's handless. There is so much you can do. I'm going to demonstrate you uh, one simple fly that you can do it. I'm grabbing here this white for instance. And that will allow you to do a um, any bait fish pattern. And there it is. All the brushes are made with stainless steel wire, so it's salt water. We'll have a little impact into the wire. Okay. Go. Just to give an idea how this will be done. Okay, just like that. So now, basically, what you will do it is a folding back the fibers, and you can use any length uh, hook you like to it. I want to do this a fairly long fly, so I'm gonna simply start in two, wrapping around. that for now again it's up to you how much you want to dress your fly okay just like just wrap around it cannot be any easier than this Get it there. We're almost done. There we go. It looks kind of messy right now, but with a little patience. Finish the fly in a very nice way. 
again, don't use your scissor doing what I did it, unless you use the, you have the same kind of scissors. I work with it. I know many of you have been asking me where can I get the scissor, and believe me, it's not that I don't want to have available for you. I just have not be able to locate it, but I'm still working on it. And I promise they're gonna be available soon. So at this point, get yourself a bodkin and just pick the fibers, just like that. fly out of the vise, just like that. And I'll put it back into the vise. And as you can see over here, without doing any trimming, you know, put a little attention when you wind in the the brush around, you will have it, you know, five inch of fly ray. You put your eyes in any way you want it, and also you can do use your magic marker, just like that. Fiber will accept magic marker nicely. You can do any color combination, here you have, just like that. And this is just to give an idea how it gets done right here. I couldn't have done any simpler than this for you. I know you're going to like it.